Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Woo! I'm so excited for this camping trip. Sleeping bag? Check. Tent? Check. Flashlight? Check. Oh no, the flashlight went out. Well, I don't want to be out in the middle of the woods, in the middle of the night without a flashlight. I think I'm going to have to fix it myself. Oh, but look at all these different pieces. I'm not sure what some of them do or even what some of them are for. All right, let's not panic. I need to come up with a plan. Time to put on my science hat. Cool hat, huh? Scientists often observe and measure properties in order to identify what things are. They observe properties like reflectivity, conductivity, magnetism, and solubility. And I think I can sort through the different pieces and identify their properties so I can figure out what each one is for and try to put it back together. A property is a characteristic that's used to describe matter. There are different kinds of properties, too. Quantitative properties are characteristics that can be measured with a numerical result, like weight, length, or melting temperature. Qualitative properties, on the other hand, are characteristics that can't be measured with a numerical result. Like if the object is bendable, if it conducts electricity, or its color. Now how can I describe these pieces? Hmm. Well, I can observe the qualitative properties of them just by looking at them, so I'm going to start there. All these parts are hard, but they're also different colors. Ah! So, I'm going to sort the black objects into one group, the blue objects into another group, the gray objects into a group, and the silver and copper colored objects into yet another group. Now, let's look closely at the silver and copper objects. And what properties can we observe here? Well, the silver objects are pretty hard, and I can't bend them, so they're probably going to be used to hold other parts of the flashlight in place. But the thin copper bundle can be pulled apart into strings, and the strings are very bendable. <gasps> I think this must be some kind of a wire. And I know that a flashlight uses electricity, so I bet the wires are good conductors of electricity. And that means that electricity can flow through it as well. Now I'm going to connect the wires to the light and see if electricity flows through each part. That was super helpful. Now I know which of the objects will allow electricity to flow, which is an important part of the circuit that's in a flashlight. Now let's test out another property that might be helpful in figuring out these parts. Magnetism. I have a magnet here. And I can observe what happens when the magnet touches each flashlight part. Interesting. So, of the parts here, three of them respond to magnetic force. I'm going to have to do some research to figure out which parts of a flashlight are magnetic so I can figure out what these parts are used for. Now, this part of the flashlight is very shiny and smooth. Ooh, just like a mirror. Oh, so this must be used to reflect the light of the flashlight so that it's brighter. And now we're getting somewhere. And some of the other metal parts are shiny, but they're not so smooth. And so that would mean that they're not as reflective. And then there are also pieces that are not shiny at all and don't have any reflective properties like these pieces over here. Making good progress. My flashlight is nearly sorted, and it looks like I'm back on track for my camping trip. My favorite things to pack are the snacks. I need to be sure that I pack them correctly. I'm going to test the solubility of these crackers to see what would be the best way to pack them. Solubility is the ability to dissolve into another substance. So I'm going to put a few of these crackers into water and stir it up. Yikes! Those are definitely soluble and will need to be packed in a waterproof container. Who would have thought so much science would go into preparing for camping? I've made observations about the properties of all the parts of my flashlight, and I was able to test things like conductivity, hardness, color, magnetism, and more. I made predictions and was able to test them out to draw conclusions. And these observations are going to help me to identify the parts of the flashlights as I research exactly how to put them all back together so that I have a flashlight that I can use on my camping trip. And lastly, 
I was also able to test the solubility of my crackers to make sure I packed them correctly. Thanks to mighty science, I think I'll be able to get this figured out.